Hello YouTube. Welcome to our series on Python code snippets. In this short video, we'll be looking at how we can check for multiple conditions in an if statement in Python. In programming, it is very common to come across scenarios where we need to check more than one condition at a time. For example, if you wish to get an A on an upcoming test, you need to put in the time needed to master the concepts covered in the test and you need to perform on the test day to demonstrate your mastery of the concepts. So how can we do that in Python? I assume you're already familiar with how to check for one condition in Python. Like this example, here we have x equals one and in the if statement, we check if x is less than two and if it is the case, we simply print out x is less than 2 and if it is not the case then we print out x is not less than 2. Running this code we get x is less than 2. Simple so far right? Though it makes sense intuitively let's try to understand what happens behind the scenes. Any if statement has two parts. The syntax part which consists of the if keyword and the colon at the end and the condition which in this example is x less than 2. Now one key point we need to understand is that any condition in Python will evaluate into either true or false. So what do I mean by evaluate here? Let me open up the Python interpreter and show you what I mean. So I assign x equals 1 and then I simply type x less than 2 and the Python interpreter prints out true. If I type x greater than 1 and press enter, I get false. So what's happening here? Any part of our code that contains a condition will get replaced by true or false when the Python interpreter is executing our code. So in our previous example, Python first evaluated the condition, it got true, then it replaced the condition with true and executed the statement under if. If we were to change the condition from x less than 2 to x greater than 2, then this is what will happen. Python will first evaluate the condition, it will get false. So Python will skip whatever code is under if and it will straight away jump to else and print out whatever code is under else. As you can see, we got x is not greater than 2 as the output. If you're liking this video so far and you wish to support us, please hit that like button to help us grow our channel. All right, back to the topic. Now that we understand what happens behind the scenes when an if statement is executing, Let's move on and try to understand how to check for multiple conditions in an if statement. The good thing about Python is when it comes to checking multiple conditions, the code looks very similar to plain English. Let me show what I mean. Let's say you have a Toyota Yaris, which as you might know, does not have a lot of space in the back seat. Let's say we want to write a Python program to determine if our next passenger will be comfortable or not in the back seat. Let's say the eligibility criterion for that is the weight of the person must be less than 75 kilograms and the height of the person must be less than 170 centimeters. So now let's translate this problem into a Python script. In the first line here, we get the height of the person and in the second line, we get the weight of the person Simple and straightforward so far. Okay, now comes the crucial part. How can we check this particular condition in Python? Like I said, Python code reads like plain English. We simply write if height is less than 170 and weight is less than 75. Looks so simple, doesn't it? But does it work? Let's run it and see, shall we? So, I enter the height as 
171 and the weight as 60 and our code prints out you are going to have an uncomfortable journey. Now let's run it again. This time I give the height as 160 and the weight as 72 and as you can see the code prints out you will fit nicely in the back seat of Yaris. So in the first case the condition height less than 170 failed and the condition weight less than 75 succeeded. So Python replaced condition 1 with false and condition 2 with true. As you might have learned in your Boolean algebra class in your high school, true and false is false. Hence, this entire condition gets evaluated into a single false. And that's the reason in the first case, the else statement got executed. In the second case, both these conditions evaluated into true and the truth table tells us that true and true is true. And hence the if statement got executed in this case. If you wish to change your condition to, let's say, if height is less than 170 or if the weight is less than 75, then you'll fit nicely in the backseat of an Yaris. You simply switch the word and for the keyword or and you simply use the truth table for or instead of the truth table for and usage of or xor etc have been covered in great depth in the article on our website so i invite you to go check it out there you can find the link in the description all right i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did Please don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one.